Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're following up last week's video with our initial impressions, talking about uh, what has come from the last update and also what we can expect going forward for the rest of season three. If you're new to the channel, consider leaving a like on the video. If you like the video, comment down below and consider subscribing because we're growing every day and I would appreciate it. But I love you. Roll the intro. Let's get into it. So last video, we were predicting some things that were going to be coming in season three. Season three, the trailer for it came out literally an hour before my video went up. So uh, it was cool to see some of my predictions come true, but also very frustrating to see that <laughs> I could, if I would have waited just a little bit longer, I would have had something to base everything off of, but it's perfectly fine. So in terms of some things that were added, we of course have the new battle pass. Warzone was totally nuked, but we'll talk about that some other time. But for Cold War exclusively, we got the battle pass with two new new weapons uh the ppsh and the k swiss so a new smg and a new sniper rifle we also got a couple new maps off day one there's more coming later down the line but we're talking about stuff right now so we got yamanatu i think that's how you would call it and diesel diesel honestly top three maps in the game right now for me it's right there with apocalypse for that number one spot i love the map yamanatu though hot cross buns but we'll talk about that in a little bit first things first let's take a look at some of these weapons and get some gameplay so the first weapon you'll have access to upon your hitting tier 15 of the battle pass the ppsh it is a jack of all trades master of none smg i think there's better smgs uh for all of the strengths that this gun has if you want a high mag capacity go with the bullfrog fire right go with the mac 10 you know there's just better options out there not to say that it's not a great gun i think it just it loses too often to these other guns um and i guess for the first time this year we've gotten a new gun that isn't wildly overpowered per se and so it's a little bit of almost a culture shock with it so the name of the game for my PPSH is recoil control and keeping that mag size utilizing it to its entirety. So with the muzzle attachment, we're going with the KGB eliminator. For the barrel, we're going with the ranger barrel. We're skipping the uh, body. If you were to run gunfighter with it, I'd definitely throw a steady aim laser and an optic on there. Uh, for grip, of course, Spetsnaz grip, the 71 drum mag, and then the Gru elastic wrap. We're also gonna run a Yamanazi, so I could talk about that while I talk about the new guns as well. Of course, we gotta throw the block of cheese on every weapon we have unofficial collaboration okay, okay starting confirmed. things off with some kill confirmed on yamanatu like i was saying or alluding to at least i'm not the biggest fan of yamanatu um i'm not the biggest fan of yamanatu yamanatu kind of reminds me if you took satellite and flattened it didn't make it nearly as vertical as satellite is you get this map um and i'm not the biggest fan of satellite so it's hard to describe why i dislike this map um it's definitely one of those maps that's like you either play it well or you don't and at least that might just be for me there's definitely maps where you can go in and out of streaks and kind of you know play really well and then kind of drop off and then be able to catch up for this map it feels like if you're not cooking on all cylinders like you're just screwed or you know because there's no just breaking the streak that you're on that could also just be me and my inability to to play at a high level That's the one thing about this gun that I do appreciate is that mag size. That mag size makes it to where you're able to just kind of spray and pray with it a little bit almost. Um, I don't know, of course I'm playing with it well after I talk all this shit, because, you know, why, why wouldn't that happen to me? Not to backtrack off of everything I've said about this gun, it's not that it's bad necessarily. It's more so for me, it just feels inconsistent because it feels like sometimes I'm melting dudes and like I'm unquittable. And then other times it just feels like, you know, I am King Autobot and can't do anything without, you know, I, it's just hard to describe. This gun makes me feel inconsistent and it's frustrating sometimes to feel that inconsistency. Also, somewhat unrelated, it feels as though the Farah received a bit of a buff. This thing's kind of a beam. What the hell? Why? Why 
all of a sudden does it feel so much better than it has, like, all week? This feels like an, almost an entirely different gun. Dude, what the hell? Talking all this shit about your step ops, saying he was a dog. Now look at you. What the fuck is going on? Thirteen positive with our Temple. game of the PPSH, which doesn't make the most sense to me, but I think I'll take it. I won't complain. Um, in terms of this map, though, I definitely don't think it's the worst map of the game. Um, Armada has grown on me a little bit as we've played, uh, but I still hate Armada, and it's not really, I guess, the map's fault. It's more so how people play it, and that's kind of something. I try to keep in mind when it comes to my judgment of maps it, it you know does it come down to the map play how the map plays or is it really based upon um how other people are choosing to play it but that's my ppsh gameplay there uh just a single game with that one i'm a little bit upset that it went as well as it did just because i really like the ppsh so we're gonna hop into some diesel face off here for this next round of gameplay here i'm not getting a ton of gameplay right now so we're gonna try to get a little bit more before uh, we call it a video and whatnot. However, uh, I wish that this diesel map had uh, wasn't a face off 24 seven. I wish it was just a straight up diesel 24 seven. I think this map is so much better than Yamanatu. And I'm not exactly like Yamanatu. I don't know. Maybe it's just Yamanatu feels like it's trying to do too much. There's just all these interweaving paths and there's these like vertical changes and certain lanes that can't be accessed by other things, which makes perfect sense and is all fine and good. Um, and this one's more straightforward you just got your three lanes you got a couple high points that you can take and then there's like the middle where everything's hitting and i don't know if it's just kind of i don't know i don't know if it's just like the map plays a bit faster than yamanatu i'm not entirely sure but i like this map a lot and the intro animation when you're on the uh the bad guys per se so hard it's the best one um We'll see what team I'm on even. Am I on? Oh, I'm on CIA, so you don't get to see the cool one. The Spetsnaz have the badass one. But this map just plays really cool. We also got Captain Price and Wraith as operators. I'm not sure as to how how uh you guys feel about the new uh, feel about match. operators or anything, but we got those to show. Best of luck, soldier. The folks back home are counting on you. <laughs> I definitely think season three though is a little bit inconsistent um it's kind of the theme that we're having right now for this or is this kind of the theme is inconsistency uh the ppsh feels a bit inconsistent in terms of being a good uh good smg it feels like sometimes it melts other times it doesn't the k swiss is honestly a mid-tier sniper rifle until you get the tiger team barrel and then it becomes a god tier sniper rifle the speed of it feels truly like a call of duty sniper it's so nice oh it's so nice to use um but before you get the tiger team barrel you'll get a lot of hit markers like even if you hit upper chest like really headshots are the only guaranteed one shots for this thing uh, which even with that cycling speed the chambering speed it can be a little bit uh too slow for you but as you see i'm hitting consistent one hit shots with it but that's the thing is like you know without the barrel it's a bit inconsistent the maps you know yamanatsu is not the greatest map but then we got this map which is great uh but the ballistic knife's a little bit odd i think it's like a one shot kill and a melee kill in the same life in 15 different games which feels a little bit excessive like borderline excessive um if i had got the third one there that would have been crazy this map i just love this map i just love it so much i'm sniping on it which i don't love sniping but i want to show off the new gun for you guys i really enjoyed the season i think it's a great refresh i understand the time in between seasons is like necessary to make sure that the content's all there and everything but i think that it's borderline too long Ooh. Oh, it's close. Um, I think it's borderline too long. I think uh, there needs to be some more content dropped throughout just because the game kind of gets stale. I know season two was kind of starting to lose a little bit of its allure for me. But season three, much needed. I'm very excited to see where things go. The only thing that I think they totally missed the mark on was zombies. I think zombies have kind of zombie players and zombie fans have kind of been getting hoed this year 
Uh, I don't think they've gotten nearly the amount of content as they deserve. I have two maps at this point in the game. We're about, what, six, seven months into the life cycle of this game. We've gotten one new map. I mean, if you count Outbreak 2, but I really don't count Outbreak. Um, it's more of a classic zombies experience in terms of like you just survive which I mean for some people is fun But I like playing with a purpose and with all the Easter eggs We've had over the last like decade pretty much for zombies It's kind of hard to not have an Easter egg and not have like a goal There's talks of there being an Easter egg for outbreak, but I don't know. I think I Think it's kind of screwed up the zombie players. I haven't gotten more content I don't think from what I read they haven't gotten a new maps in season one. Oof, we snagged his shit so the win for Uncle Sam I don't know. Zombie players, I think they deserve more. And as somebody who used to really, really enjoy zombies and exclusively play zombies, um, it sucks to see that they aren't getting the kind of content that they deserve. Best on the team. It is what it is. 15 to 15. Oh, I gotta play the game, though. How's that double kill? A little bit of a hard scope. Just a little bit. Probably my best game sniping I've had in a while. Tiger Team Barrel, though, is a necessity on the case whiz. Let's take a look at that loadout real quick just for you. So we're running the stabilizer, steady aim laser, front grip, fast mags, serpent wrap, and the stock. Obviously, I am running. I'm going to switch the eight round actually real quick. We'll get another game in with it. Obviously, I am running gunfighter on there. If I wasn't running gunfighter, I would probably take off the bipod. And that would put me at one, two, I'd probably take off the bipod and either and the stock maybe. Yeah, it's just movement speed. The bipod and the stock I would take off. But I'm running gunfighter on it. And then also the blueprints we're getting in the battle pass. They knocked the battle pass out of the park this year, this season. This year in general. What, seasons one, two, and three heater battle passes. I mean, yeah, it's a kind of bullshit that you have to pay extra for all this extra stuff. Yeah, but that's what's nice though is you you don't have to have it uh the guns are still free so that's cool Taking give me that noggin losing bravo I just collab that? <laughs> QUE! Hold it down! right now in terms of season three i'm giving it a solid seven out of ten i definitely i'm not the biggest fan of yamanatsu i think if we had gotten a bit of a better map uh diesel's fantastic i love diesel i cannot wait for face off a little bit later uh, a couple weeks from now i'm assuming is when that's gonna come out i'm hoping we get a new zombies map i think had we gotten face off off bat as well as a new zombies map and I think, yeah, I think if we'd gotten those, it probably would have been a 10, a 9 or a 10 for me. But Yamanatu is not my favorite map in the world. It's definitely not the worst, but it's not the best. I think the PPSH, uh, well, a hipfire monster, apparently, um, it definitely is a little bit lacking for me, a bit too inconsistent. And same thing goes with the Swiss. I think the Swiss goes from mid-tier without the Tiger team to the number one sniper in the game. For me personally, your opinion might differ. And if your opinion does differ, drop down below. What's your favorite sniper in the game? Um, but yeah, so far, I'm loving it. I cannot wait for what's to come next. Um, and I'm glad I have you guys to here to share all of my uh, my thoughts and feelings with. But if you like today's video, be sure to leave a like. Like I said, comment down below your favorite sniper rifle. Comment your favorite part of season three so far, which you're looking forward to later this season or season four. Um, oh, another thing I forgot to touch on, the event that happened in terms of Warzone, I wasn't able to participate in all of it. However, I was able to get into part two of it. Um, and I was able to use the new burst 
AR. If for some reason it was ground loot, I don't know if that was a glitch or if that was intentional for them. I feel like there was a lot of them on the ground, so it had to be intentional. It felt pretty solid. So I'm excited for that to come in the coming weeks. But yeah, like I said, comment what you're excited for most down below, your favorite sniper, best part of season three, whatever you'd like to leave it down below in the comments. It helps the algorithm and it helps us grow so we can, you know, just continue to do great things. But I love you. Stay safe, stay healthy. Consider subscribing if you're new and have a good one.